Benchling BioResearch is a digital workspace that helps scientists design biomolecules, perform experiments, capture assay data, manage samples, and learn from results all in one place. Let's see how this works in detail. We'll start with our molecular biology tools used to design plasmids and complex biomolecules at scale. Here we have a plasmid map with both a linear view on the left side and a circular view on the right side. We can customize the information displayed on these plasmid maps with annotations, primers, cut sites, translations, open reading frames, and other useful labels. On the right-hand side here, we can also access a suite of sequence editing and analysis tools such as primer design, in silico cloning, alignments, and digests. Benchling also offers bulk design and analysis tools, including APIs, to automate sequence creation and updates. Now that we have our in silico constructs ready, let's move on to performing experiments and generating assay data. Benchling BioResearch helps improve the quality of your research data by centralizing and standardizing data entry while retaining the flexibility to capture any and all types of data depending on the experiment or assay. Here, we are inside a notebook entry about plasmid prep generation and QC. I can make these entries as flexible or as structured as needed. For example, I can organize parts of my experiment as shown here. I can add protocols, images, links to biological entities like plasmids, containers, and any other information relevant for my experiment. I can at mention people in my team to notify them. I can also standardize experimental data capture with results tables and integration with instruments. These tables ensure data is entered consistently across users and help streamline data analysis later. Next, we'll look at how Benchling BioResearch helps increase the efficiency of inventory management and sample tracking. With Benchling BioResearch, you can define inventory hierarchy, model relationships between entities, samples, and lots, track locations and quantities of samples with full traceability, and connect physical samples with experimental context. The inventory is designed to reflect physical locations. In this case, we can see locations such as buildings, rooms, and shelves. On this shelf, there are various tubes. Let's open up one of these tubes. You'll see all the relevant information such as sample owners, quantity, location, contents, and barcode. From this view, you can also perform a variety of container actions, such as moving containers, transferring contents, or reserving containers for future use. Benchling BioResearch helps teams link these containers with other parts of Benchling, such as experiments, registered entities, results, and other metadata automatically. This improves the efficiency of tracking samples and all related data. The final step of any research workflow is data analysis. Benchling BioResearch helps scientists aggregate data across experiments, visualize data to draw insights, and share output across teams to make decisions. Here's an example of a dashboard showing results from antibody purification. This dashboard is collating information across multiple experiments done by different teams and does not require any manual effort to pull data from individual entries. Insight dashboards offer a variety of visualization tools from scatter plots to bar charts to heat maps to meet the varied needs of research teams. These graphs help compare datasets from multiple sources, no copy and paste needed. These blocks are also easily modifiable to query and surface relevant information quickly. Finally, these dashboards can also be shared with other team members to help inform decision making. These data analysis and visualization tools help research scientists learn from their experiments and iterate faster to achieve critical milestones and make go or no-go decisions. To learn more, talk to our product experts at benchling.com forward slash request dash demo.